Hey everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look what's in a box of Keeper and R&D games and published by Hoosh and R&D games and done by Richard Breeze. And let's get down to the table, see what's inside. Okay, so let's open the box and see what's inside. First of all, we have a black baggie of sort and over here there is this starting tiles that you have to have in your bag for the first season and then you will put in some extra tiles as the game goes. Now, there's a bunch of components here so I'll just go through them really quickly. First of all, let's let's take a closer look at the player components. Now, each player will get a bunch of different meeples. Let's just take everything out of these components and let me quickly show you. Okay, first of all, you'll get this tower and this just represents if you have some excess meeples at the end of the turn for what will you get for those and that's all it does is just and over here there's like a quick summary of turn order and what can you do in your turn now there is some basic buildings in here oh this will be a fight okay so you have this basic building that each player starts with so each player get to build these buildings and when the game goes uh, as the game goes by you will have a chance to upgrade them to even bring you more points like for example this one will give you one point for each cow you have here and you cannot have more than this is cow shed and you have you can have more than four cows on this and if you upgrade it you will get two points for cow at the end of the game so you there's this green and there's also this i don't know which color is this like brownish sandish color and these are just building to help you get some more stuff and victory points at the end of the game and then each player will get player markers in their color to track different stuff and then there's this meeple that is a bit different than others because it has one hand raised up this is your main guy with this you will claim one of those things that i will show you later and you get meeples in each color two of the white and one gray and one black, green, blue, orange, and whatnot. So that's basically what each player gets. I will not show you, so this is for the green player. And then we have where it is. So these are for the blue player. And of course, there's one for the last player, which I cannot find it right now. Where is it? Doesn't matter. Okay okay here it is here it is okay so we move that out of the way now as i showed you buildings there's like a bunch of more buildings that come in this game different buildings that you can build in your city i won't go through all of those then there is this ship and fair tiles let me show you those now this ship you will claim so you get some money for boars and blue gems you have and this depend this will show up depending on which season it is like for example this one shows only in winter and they are double sided so this one can show in a spring in a summer or even in a fall this one just shows in a fall and a winter and there's good reason for it i will not go much in the details of how the game plays but and then there's these fair tiles there where you will go on a fair each at the end of each season and show off your animals and your resources and you will get points for those. Okay, then we have a bunch of different wooden components. But before we go to this, there is some, you will earn some gems throughout this game and they are this really nice clear plastic. Let me just quickly show it to you. Really nice clear plastic pieces. So these are the blue and yellow and green and red. And you get collect this throughout the game and exchange for points like everything in this game. Then what you have are little chickens. So these are chicken meeples. 
I believe you can see them. I won't take them out of the bag. It would take me like forever. This video would last like you would get bored at the uh, half of it. So there are these chickens. You can get chickens in this game. And there's also like these little goats that you can get throughout the game. And then there's some deers or something like that that you can also get in this game. I think I never saw something like this in any game. And then there's some good old regular pigs. They're pink and they're pigs and that's what it is. And then we have these black ones. These are wild boars. You also get wild boars in this game. Then there's horses and a bit darker brown color which represent cows in this game. There's also wheat. This is like joker resource for everything. And we have three different types of materials represented by cubes. And uh, this is, I think, eight sided shape thingy. So this is like more advanced goods. Like this is just clay, like stone. And then this is just carved stone and stuff like that. Then we have rules and rule books and these are in few languages these are this one is german and this one is english i'm not mistaken i think there should be one more not not really important now the rules for this game i don't know i know that this is a game from the key series and everything is branded in that keyword keeper uh, key cathedral, uh, key whatever it is, key flower, that first game that show up, I think, or key to the city London. But using the word key instead of just normal, like uh, meeple is keeple in this game. And, and uh, it gets really confusing. Now, let me demonstrate you by reading one thing from the rule. <laughs> I read this thing over and over again, and I was really... I, 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 I really, I had so much struggle when English is not your native language. Think about, just think about it that uh, English is not my native language. I had to learn it through school and I had to understand the word. Now listen to this. The keeper and the keepers are placed in the keep on the player's player board together with any keepers on the player's player board and keep tile. Now, <laughs> did you understand any of that? Uh, I don't know what was the necessity for that, but if I have to say anything bad about game, then that's that thing. Why using that kind of wording is beyond me. And for some reason, I just found a bag here. We also have a wooden sheep. I forgot to show you this. Okay, now there's this player board. And over here you will send those shiny meeples in each different color. And depending if you uh, on the color, you will get more or less resources. Like for example, if you send a brown meeple over here, you will get two wood resources, two wood blocks. And in, a, uh, in some late games, if you put another brown meeple here, you will get even more of these resources. Now, what is about these player boards? Now, these player boards will change throughout the season. When it's summer, when it's uh, spring or something like that, it, it, you have to have this showing. And this you can ch choose whatever you wish to show. So basically, you, uh, this thing changes over the season. Uh, the only rule is that it has to have all these squares. Like for example, this is not legal. Even this, this is not legal. It has to have like four times four grid showing. So basically this is just this is not legal but everything else is legal so you can go like this or maybe you can go like this if you are interested in i mean this, this is just phenomenal and the thing is no matter how much you spin it it always turns as you can see to that illegal one and it always turns to the resets itself to the first thing that you put out so this is really, I don't know what witchcraft this is but i really like it this is really nice now these are all the same for each player these are all the same so uh, all of these are flipped in the same positions if you flip them so there's no need to check show you all of them because they are the same and then there is this player boards that each player gets i will not take them all out there's four of them what you get are basically let 
could just put it like so. Okay, what you get over here, you will build those green buildings, and over here, you will build those buildings with this grayish back that I showed you. Let me just find a few. You see, like this one are built over here, and the green ones are built over here. And here, you will use those fair tiles if you go on a fair and show your animals and whatnot. And over here, you will just keep your resources so you can have them at your bay and see what you can use and whatnot. Over here is a ship track. If you go very, if you ship different uh, goods and their points, you will track those here. Uh, all other points are counted at the end of the game. Just those ship points are counted here. And then over here, you will keep your meeples, depending if you're playing two player or more three or four player game, you will have eight or nine meeples here and your main guy over here. And that's that, that's everything that comes in a box of Keeper. Okay, so that was Keeper. And did you see how much components this game has? It really looks overwhelming when you first time open it and there's like a bunch of animal components looking at you, you are like, what is this? <laughs> but I really love it. I like that they did not go the that route where small white cube is a sheep and then there's like brown cube that's a cow that's going on a uh, your in your uh, pen or something like that and I really like that. I mean, okay, there are resources that come as a cube but stone comes in a kind of cubish form but you never saw a white cube running around meadows and making sheep sounds, right? So I really like I really like that they went that route, and you get lots of different meeples. I mean, in different colors, lots of meeples in different colors. And when you play them on that, did you see that thingy board where uh, no matter how much you spin it, it always comes to the same position. I don't know what witchcraft that is, but that's that's really nice and unique touch to a game. I I never saw something like that in a game, and I really liked it. Now, it's not that mind-blowing. Uh, people usually tend to pick the same positions for each, uh, uh, for each uh, season. You have four seasons. You have like summer, winter, fall, and which one I forget? Summer, winter, fall. No, I, I, don't, I cannot count them in English. I can in Croatian uh, right off my top of my head, but I'm derailing. So I like the components. I like how the game plays. It, it did not mind blow me, but I think that it's a game that really worth checking out just for its for its uniqueness with that player boards and all the components that come in it. So I think you should definitely check it out. Keeper by R&D Games and Hoosh and Richard Breeze. And until next time, pause it up. This video was brought to you by PhillyBertNet.com, the game in all its states.